Howdy folks, this is Justro at Metcalf Mills. I've got you a video today. It's kind of old. I recorded the main part of it a while back and just hadn't ever put it up, but we're gonna put it up today. So I'm gonna go from a t-shirt to an overcoat real fast. I hope you enjoy it. Got a 20 inch Meadows mill right here. It's built in 1987. It's just like the two mills that we dressed the stones on in our last video. Uh, we're going to go through this mill, make sure everything's <clears throat> in good shape and everything's working good. We're going to dress the stones, just see, check it out through and through just to make sure everything's working good. The first thing we're gonna do is just clean everything up real good. Get all this grime off of it, the whole mill from one end to the other. We're gonna clean it up, get it completely clean before we do anything. And then we'll start working on it. And this cleaning is just a bunch of brushing, scrubbing, and just getting the grime off, so. I'm sure you don't want to see that happening. <laughs> well, we're getting this little baby cleaned up here. Starting to shine a little bit. You can see the stone right in there, the runner stone. I got the vent cover off so we can clean everything real good and thoroughly. Come over here, I've seen something I've never seen before. On a meal that I was servicing or working on, the fan which this pulley goes on right here. And there's a little round, usually leather or synthetic belt that goes on this pulley and makes a figure eight around this fan pulley. And what that does is it makes this fan run and it blows a current of air. There's also a gate right here that you can, no, I ain't talking to you, Penny. I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to the camera, girl. Say hey to everybody. Say hey to everybody. There's a vent right here that you can open up to allow the airflow to the fan, or you can close it to keep the meal closed up, so, you know, to keep anything out of there. But anyway, on this meal, well, when you, when you open that fan gate, it allows that fan to take a current of air in, and it blows it across right here, and this is where the grain falls down. The grain comes out of the hopper, down through the feed cup, down through the shoe, and it goes down into the mill here. As the grain falls down to the shaft and the auger to be pulled back into the millstones, it blows a current of air across that grain and it comes out over here, right here in this opening. That's where it comes out. So any fine particles, pericarp, any of those fine little dust or anything else that might be in there that's light enough that don't get separated out with the shoe up here, it will just be blown out over here before it goes into the mill to be ground. But this fan is full of grease. I don't know who in the world thought they was greasing the mill, but they evidently just kept pumping grease right here. The whole fan is full of grease. I can't even turn it. It's just full of grease. And there's some corn in there too. You can see a little bit right here. See that grease? It's just slam full of grease. So I've never seen that before and wanted to point it out just for the record on this meal, what's going on. Here you go. You can see, see some of the grain that they was grinding with this meal at one time or another here. You ready? Look at there, some kind of red corn. Look at that, some kind of red corn. Some yellow corn. Nah, don't you lick that grease, girl. Don't you lick that grease. That ain't no good for you. 
No good for you, girl. That's nasty stuff. I just wanted to show y'all what was coming out of this thing. Some kind of red and yellow corn. There's a lot of it in there. It's just jammed in there. That grease is just totally globbed up the fan here. Totally globbed up the fan. Look at that. Some kind of white corn. You can't have that girl. Anyway, nasty. <laughs> Nasty stuff. I'm going to finish cleaning this up, and we'll get on to some more mechanical parts of it. All right, I'm going to take off the, the hopper and the shoe and this cap board right here so that I can get in there to clean everything. And also, it has to be took off so we can dress the stones. So that's what I'm going to do right now.
Now we're just going to take off the whole, the whole feed and fan assembly and clean them behind there really good. Get all that grease out of the fan casing and everything. Oh, wow. Look at that mess. Look at that mess. It's gonna have to be cleaned really good. What is that? Somebody filled the fan with grease. Yeah. Way too much, and then it got corn mixed in the grease and just made a big mess. Yeah. That doesn't seem good. That ain't good, is it? No. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna continue to clean the mill and clean the parts. I'm gonna take out the case bolt so I can get in there to clean everything really good. That's the next thing I'm gonna do here. Okay. Don't play when I'm recording. We're, we're, we're recording what? What I'm doing? Oh, you're recording. Yeah, recording what I'm doing. Don't play then. I'm cleaning the rest of this corn and grease mess out of the fan here. What a mess. What a mess. Globs of corn and grease. Ooh, not pretty. I've never seen a fan with grease in it like that. Somebody must have not realized where the grease was going and they thought they needed to grease it until the grease come out. That's what happened. But anyway. We'll get it cleaned up. Good as new. Be ready to grind some grain. Because that's what we do here at the Mill Works. We make them work. We make the mills work. Now we've got all the... Pretty much all the big chunks of grease and corn out of this fan now. Now what we're gonna do is take the fan off the spindle, take the spindle and the fan out so we can get in there and clean out all that mess inside of the fan housing and get it really good and clean. Mm -hmm. That don't surprise me. Not right now, because I was busy. Just all caked with grease inside there, very messy. Well, that's better. Better, but not as good as I want it. So I've cleaned this out with air hose as good as I can. There's still a little grease residue on the metal that won't come out. I don't like to use chemicals on any part of an inside of a mill. Uh, I just don't like to do that. So I'm gonna make me a little something here to 
get as much of that grease out as I can. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I've got this little piece of rod right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this piece of rod to make a U shaped with a really tight U so that I can put a piece of <clears throat> put a piece of cloth or a rag in that U put this in my drill and be able to spin that rag that wad of rag on the end of this spin it really good with the drill and clean out the grease on the inside of that fan housing and so that the so that the rag will not come loose from this. I'll show you. You have to have a really good piece of metal to do this because most metal will just break right there where you bend it. So I'm gonna see if we can't put it in the vise and just finish, kind of finish the job here. If we can get it going the right way. pretty good U shape there so what we'll do now is get us a pretty good sized piece of grease rag here tear it into a strip that's about the width we want double it over Make us a big cotton swab for cleaning this grease out of this thing right here. There we go. And the way it's going to work is just like that. Wipe out as much as I can of the bulk of this grease that's on the shaft and on the bearing right here. Get that cleaned out really good. That's done. Oh yeah. Bare hands, no grease on there. That's wore it out. So now I'll take this back to the air hose, blast all it, because when this thing was running, there's a lot of the cloth that come off that got caked with the grease and just come off. There's some little fuzzies down in there and I'll just blast them out with the air hose. Now the inside of our fan housing is all clean inside. We can put our fan blades back on.
this is called the shoe. In the olden days, it was called a weevil spout. Uh, a weevil is a little uh, bug that gets in grain, grain weevil. And in the olden days, people just, they, they done the best they could. And the way WC Meadows designed the weevil spout, it had a fine screen down underneath the grain and a more coarse screen up here. And when the grain fell down through the coarse screen, anything bigger than the grains would stay on top and go over here and exit out through this hole. Uh, when the grain went down through the top screen, it was on top of the fine screen and any small particles, dirt, anything that was smaller than the grain, weevils, anything like that would go through the screen and exit out of the mill and not go in with the ground product. This shoe has a solid bottom. The grain is already cleaned before it comes into this shoe or into this mill. It's pre-cleaned, comes in here. There's no need to have a screen underneath to get fine particles most of the time. The design of this was for people in a community when they shelled their grain and brought it to the mill, this would clean out anything that they were not able to clean out in the, their process. So, And we're just going to clean this shoe up and get it real clean, ready to work. It's not too dirty, just a little bit of cleaning up and it'll be good to go. Just look for any loose staples or anything that might be able to come off and get into the mill. We'll make sure none of that's, make sure that can't happen. Make sure everything's good and solid on this shoe.
I can't eat chewing sticks, I can't chew. Now we're going to pull this meal apart, see what the stones look like. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, they're slick, all right. Real slick. Got a bunch of trash down here. A little bit of rust on the bottom of the case. A bunch of trash right inside here. Clean that mess out. But the stones are slick. Real slick. But that's all right. We'll get her to work in, won't we, Penny? Because that's what we do here at the Mill Works, ain't it? Ain't it, Penny? What are you licking? That old nasty stuff? Quit that.
so you don't talk to her if you want. Okay? Folks, when you wouldn't look and I got the stones dressed in this mill and got it put back together, there'll be more stone dressing videos to come and there's stone dressing videos in the back videos. So this is a pretty long video with just what I done. So I didn't feel the need to go through all the stone dressing with you again, but I will again in the future because they new people and they need to see that process as well. And I'm looking forward to sharing it again. But this meal's ready to go home. It's been ready to go home for a little while. We just got to get it there, and we're going to do that pretty soon. Like this video if you will. Subscribe to my channel if you ain't already. Hit that notification bell. I hope everybody's content with the content. This is Just Row at Metcalf Meals. I look forward to seeing you next time.